you're new to our channel, my partner Adam and I and our dog Twyla have been traveling part-time around Australia for the last two years. So to check out all our past episodes and all our episodes in the future, make sure you go down the bottom and like and subscribe. I'm going to teach you how to cook a witchetty grub soup. Yes, you heard me right, a witchetty grub soup. So let's go see what's in it. Adam, one with nature, huh? Yep. We're meant to be out here we cooking best, a winter get, camp, cooking a episode. We here than at home. Yeah. <laughs> four, 4G, three bars. All right. Well, anyway, uh, ignore Adam. Ignore Adam. Let me show you what's in this. So we've got diced up bacon, potatoes, uh, onion, curry powder, cream of corn, Are you or creamed corn. Yes, I will be dicing the potatoes. And um, salt and pepper. You might need some water and a couple of cups of... Uh, tasty cheese. For the last part of the recipe, we need to go to this tree and look behind the bark and we're going to get our witchetty grubs for our soup. So just under here, no, I'm only joking. There's no witchetty grubs in this soup. <laughs> but my mum did call it witchetty grub soup when we were growing up. We didn't know why, but we always found it very intriguing. She told us that they were in there, but there was never witchetty grubs. So anyway, let's start cooking this. <laughs> and uh, see what Adam thinks of it. The first step is I'm going to be getting my oil, putting it in my camp oven. I'm going to be doing this on the stove top uh, just to brown off the onion and the bacon, and then we'll move on to the next step. So I recently found out why mum called it witchetty grub soup. A long time ago at our shopping centre, they had someone doing taste testing with real live witchetty grub soup. And she swears that this soup tastes exactly the same. Now that my onions come a little bit transparent, I'm going to throw in the bacon. So this is starting to look good. I'm almost ready to pop my potatoes in. So I've used about six rations of bacon, two onions, and then I've got six fairly big uh, potatoes that I've just finished dicing up. I'm happy with that. I've turned the gas off and I'm going in with my potatoes. I'll just give that a quick mix around. And next, we're going in with the two cans of cream corn. Now I've added some water into the cans just to clean them out and get all that corn juice inside. So there, look how clean that is now. Now let's give that another mix through. Now, when it comes to the curry, it's completely up to you how much you want to put in. I like a fair bit. Adam's not too fond of it, so I'm kind of going to go a bit medium. I'll probably put two big spoonfuls. Now, there is a, quite a lot of soup here. We will be taking it home with us. There's only two of us. This is enough probably to feed a whole family, That I'm the proportions that I'm doing. But um, I'm going to be having it for my lunch this week. <laughs> well, the rest of it anyway. Did you seriously think I was going to measure this? No. So that's my two big spoonfuls. <laughs> and then just go in with your salt and pepper. Uh, salt and pepper to taste. So whatever you feel like, if you're a more salty person, it has got bacon in it. So don't go too crazy with the salt. Pepper, I think give it a real good hard kick. All right, starting to look almost done, ready to go on the fire. Now I've patted it all down. I'm just going to add a little bit of water just to make sure that all the potatoes are covered. They need to all be covered before I put it on to the fire. The cheese goes in last, so the cheese will go in. Once we've finished cooking it, I'm gonna pour the cheese on, I'm gonna mix it through, and then it'll be done. All right, lid is on. Let's take it over to the fire. All right, so I'm just gonna get the coals out ready. So I'm just pulling them out, and I'm gonna sit the camp oven right here. <laughs> Well, Twilight is happy. The fire's going pretty well now. Plus, we've got lunch on. And Adam no, is, uh, I can't use this. come on, Lee showed you how to use it properly. Let it naturally fall. Get your stance right. I only weigh 60 kilos. Doesn't matter. Let gravity do its own work. I sound like a Jedi. Ha <laughs> ha 
So that log that we've been cutting up, it is very wet. So it's um, wet wood, which is not the best to burn. We did bring our own wood with us also. Um, but we have been chipping away at it and uh, it does burn, but just takes a bit longer and isn't as nice to uh, cook with. But um, we may as well use it since it's here. Look at him, he's going really well. So it's only been on half an hour, but we've just taken off because you just got to be careful with soups because they do cook very quickly. Um, but Adam's just giving it a stir around. Do you think it needs more water, Adam? No. No? All right, cool. Well, we'll pop it back on and we'll leave it another half an hour. So, Adam, what's your job to do? Mash, <laughs> stir, and dish. <laughs> all right. Well, it's all ready to go. Oh yeah, that looks good. So now Adam's gonna have the honors of giving it a mash. You can see the potatoes are still whole. You just need to mash it all up and get it to your soup consistency. Now it's all mashed up, we're gonna add our cheese in. And then you just mix that through and let it melt. So Adam, I cooked it for you in lockdown, you liked it. What do you think? Yeah, it's, good. it's really chunky. The first time I cooked it for you, it was on the top of the stove oven, but... Um, oh, yeah, stove top. Yeah, so this is a bit it's more rustic. Smoky, it's got the smoky flavour, because it's obviously on a campfire. Yeah, so a lot better, hey? Well, that's it for another episode, guys. We hope you've enjoyed this episode and enjoyed my mum's witchy grub soup. And if you do try to make it, let us know what you think of it and how it turns out. Yes, comment down below. And guys, watch out, because this Sunday we're heading to the Border Caravan Camping. There's your fest in Wodonga. And uh, Jayco has a new camper van out, so I'm gonna show you through that. And plenty of other vans, from caravans, camper vans, RVs, We've got a fair few, didn't Maybe. we? Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see you Sunday. We'll be on live chat to answer any of your questions. So, yeah, we'll see you there. Now, if you're new to this channel... As always, guys, like and subscribe, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We appreciate a thumbs up on the episode as well because it helps the, uh, what's the, the analytics <laughs> of the episode. Help us grow. All right, guys, until this Sunday, we'll see you then. See, see you, guys. Go.